what is going on youtube welcome back to another video guys today we have quite an interesting project we're going to be talking about volt inu now i have heard about this project quite a bit uh, and more recently it has been very very popular especially when the whole community of the whole inu tokens and when it comes to the I guess meme tokens, shit coins, whatever you want to call them, whatever the word is nowadays, this is definitely one of those up and coming new kings, okay guys? And I don't say that lightly because their stats are impeccable. So we're going to get right into this video, we're going to go over the project, a little overview, and guys, this isn't a sponsored video. Uh, I literally just saw this on the timeline on Twitter and I was like, okay, interesting. And Twitter is one of the best places to find these gems uh, and to find these communities, right? And Speaking of communities, I got to say, Volt Inu has that insane community that reminds me of the early safe moon days. Now. Let's get right into it. Before I get started, guys, I want to say if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you guys want me to make more videos like this or more videos on Volt Inu, hit the like button and let me know in the comments down below. Now, let's get right into it, guys. Before we get started into the actual project, let's take a look at the people's crypto, okay? So <clears throat> we can see they have an NFT collection. They have 80K plus holders. 35 centralized exchanges and counting, dozens of world famous athletes. It's pretty cool because they actually sponsored a bunch of UFC fighters. Uh, and it, it's just cool to see, right? Because when you see, like, I guess, real life representation, it, it, it kind of makes you think, like, whoa, like, you know, there's something going on here. <clears throat> they also have a play to earn game, as well as they've done three uh, giveaways as well. So it's pretty cool. Um, this is their website, guys. Uh, I'll be honest, I, I do want them to make a nicer website because I feel like their website can be so much nicer. I really love their branding. I love that electric, like, neon green, that vibrant, whatever that color is. Uh, it's a very, very nice. It's almost, almost, almost like that prime bottle. Holy shit, I just took that in. <laughs> it's like literally like the, the color of that prime bottle. Uh, if you guys can see here, I'm gonna make that big for you guys. You guys can see that prime bottle up over there, really right there, the green ones, like the same color. Wow, okay, anyways. Uh, <laughs> you guys can see they have a bunch of things, right? So that's uh, a Fiat on ramp as well. So you can see you can buy this uh, with card cards or bank transfer. You guys can buy this on Everswap as well. Uh, and they're on ETH and the Binance Smart Chain. So. Uh, we can see all the centralized exchanges that you guys can cop this on as well uh, and we can see the about us whatever cool um the white paper and the audit report okay so i want to quickly touch on this because this is very important now if you go on coin market cap guys you can see there is a huge thing over here boom smart contract of the following asset can be modified by the contract contract creator okay so this is huge okay and if we take a look at their audit we can see over here as well uh, ownership control. So the owner can modify the tax fee and liquidity fee to any percentages at any time. The owner can exclude and include accounts from transfer fees and reward distribution. They can set mass, max transaction amount to any value at any time. They can enable and disable the automatic token swapping. But basically, guys, a, bu a bunch of things that they could do to absolutely cuck the whole like project. Okay, now. Obviously, it's a red flag. Now, I don't know if since then this has been, I guess, uh, fixed. If it has, in the comments down below, let me know. Regardless of whether it has been fixed or not, this is something to notice and this is something to take note of because, guys, this is a problem, right? If someone's launching a smart contract and has these things, you guys gotta, you guys gotta be like, okay, you know what? This is this is a potential possibility. Now, <clears throat> I'm not saying they're gonna rug. I'm not saying this is a bad project because obviously I wouldn't make a video about it. But that is something to take note of. Now, let's take a, take a look at the roadmap. Okay, so we can see. Um, the roadmap is very healthy, a, a bunch of cool things that they have going on. Um, mainly with, you can see Shiva Swap, uh, FAG uh, exchange listing, which is pretty cool. Uh, they did the Binance Smart Chain Bridge, uh, a bunch of different press releases and stuff. They have a lot of, I guess, uh, PR work that's been done, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can see they have uh, more things going on over here. They have a Volti change thing that they have, which is pretty cool. That's coming up in the news. Uh, again, we can see all these places, Investment.com, Bloomberg, NASDAQ, Yahoo Finance. Cool. Let's take a look at the tokenomics. Okay, so on ETH uh, and Binance Smart Chain, uh, they do have a different tokenomics, but on ETH, it's 1% reflection, 2% liquidity and 2% burn, 4% <coughs> to marketing and development, and then 4% to treasury, which is pretty cool. Then on the Binance Smart Chain, they have 1% reflection, 4% burn, 4% marketing and development, and 4% to the treasury. Okay. Now, uh, I want to show you guys again, this is their chart. So we can see they obviously had a massive dump off, uh, which, you know, almost all projects had at one point. Uh, and we can see that they did have a, a bit of a, a tumble uh, early on during the year and they had a decent rally. OK, uh, and now they're pretty much bottoming out again. So we're going to have to see if this does anything um, or if this continues to grow or if this doesn't really grow. So, guys, that is it for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, remember, stay seeking success.